Well, hello everybody. I'm Kwe. Well, today let's talk about our speaking test for today. Let's start with part one. We will be talking about two topic: birthday and public transport. Well, let's talk about my birthday and my favorite public transportation. Well, first let's talk about my birthday. I'm a person that was born in twenty thirteen. So currently, I'm just ten years old. I'm born in the eighteenth of January, and it is a time where usually it will fall in the weekdays, and I usually will celebrate my birthday in a lot of ways. But let's just consider the most common way that I use to celebrate my birthday is to invite some of my family members, and I usually wouldn't invite a lot of my friends. We usually wouldn't take. Gifts from each other, but we just spend time sitting down, chatting, blowing candles, singing songs, and eating those food and drinks that my mom made. I think it was maybe just a really regular birthday party, but was really happy to get a birthday party like that. Nextly, we have public transportation. I'm just a kid, and I can't ride any kind of public transportation these days except for the bike. I think the bike is actually something pretty good because first, it is good for the environment. Next, it is good for my health in various way because when I ride the bike, it will cause me to have more time to enjoy things around, and also to cause me to exercise when I'm riding the bike. So yeah, I think it's a really really good transportation. But I'll probably try to ride something way more dangerous, like a car. Maybe someday when I'm old enough or when I actually have a driver's license. But let's just come to part two. Describe an object that you find particularly beautiful. Well, let's start. Well, I'm a person who is not really into art. Work or any kind of things, but for me, beautiful things could be just really, really simple. Like one time, my younger niece, she's just really, really young. She made me a charm like this, and it was actually really cute. I put it in my study place. It is made at my home, and that time I bought her a gift. I bought her a set of. Dying things, and then she died with this, and it was really really cute. She used some kind of glue to stick these decoration on, and it looks just like a usual diamond. Just it looks just like a usual ring, a usual square slip like this, and and I think it looks really really cute. I find it particularly beautiful because first, the way that she decorated it was so cute, and second, the animals on it, yeah, and also I find it beautiful not just because it was actually is, but also because the way that my niece made it to me, I really really appreciate her her hard work of doing this for me. She's really young, but she can still do this for me. So I think it is something really, really beautiful. Yeah. So let's talk about part three. What is beauty for me? I am a person who haven't really considered what is beauty is. But for me, I think that beauty could be something that could be different from time. Anybody. And anything in the world is actually beautiful in its own way. And imagine, just like somebody, no matter what skin color they have or what kind of body parts they have, they have any kind of health problem, there's still somebody really beautiful, and there's nothing wrong with them having different types of personality or different types of looks. 
they still are beautiful. And also, I don't just consider appearance to say a person is beautiful, but I also consider the way that they act to others, especially strangers around that they would never know that they're going to be friends with them. And so I think beauty could come from not just appearance, but also come from the inside. But that is all for today's talk. Thank you for listening and goodbye. See you next time.